The fastest Corvette ever made comes out later this year, and it is not powered solely by a howling vate. The E-Ray is a gas-electric hybrid, the first all-wheel drive version of Chevrolet's storage sports car with the front wheels running on an electric motor, the traditional 6.2-liter vate powering the back. Aimed at affluent buyers who want new technology in the top-line Chevrolet sports car, the $104,000 E-Ray jerks your head back as it goes from 0 to 60 and pH 90, 7 kilometers per hour in 2.5 seconds. General Motors says it can cover a quarter mile in 10.5 seconds. Although those figures are slightly faster than its race track ready brothers, the Zix and Zevin, it is civil enough for the daily commute, even though its rear tires are almost wide enough to compete in the Indianapolis 500. Taj Juchter, the Corvette S executive chief engineer, said people would ask for the best version of the car only to wind up a Trek monster that they're trying to drive every day. For the same money, you can get all wheel drive and comfort security and the livability that comes with a car like this. And the E-Ray, which makes its debut exactly 70 years after the first Corvette was introduced in New York back in 1953, is a step toward an all-electric version of the car that will come out at at unspecified date. Although GM may be overselling the practicality, the E-Ray does come with all-season tires, so it can be driven year-round, and the all-wheel drive system is configured so it is confident in the snow, up to just four inches due to its low ground clearance. Unlike most hybrids, it is not really made for efficiency, although will get a little better city mileage than a standard Stingray at 16 mpg. But because of higher mass and air drag, it will do worse than the standard Corvette S24 MPG on the highway. The electric motor adds 160 horsepower to the 495 generated by the VAIT, for a total of 655. Both systems come on at once for maximum acceleration. Engineers say its technology sets the stage for the all-electric Corvette. When the latest generation of VET came out four years ago with the engine in the middle, engineers designed it so future there could be hybrid and electric versions in the future. The car S computers are configured to keep it stable by applying power to individual wheels when it is slippery. Jam engineers say most electronic stability controls rely on braking individual wheels. It has a lot of engineering work for a niche product, but GM says knowledge from developing the car will show up in other vehicles. GM sold only 34,510 Corvettes last year. The 1.9 kilowatt hour battery is small compared with a full electric vehicle. It is positioned under the console. You can T plug it in to recharge it but it gets energy restored from regenerative braking and from the vape motor. It can be driven in stealth mode up to 45 mph for a short distance to quietly leave a neighborhood, GM says. As fast as you can discharge it, we recharge it, and we always keep it at a pretty optimum state of charge, said Mike Kutcher. And the E-Ray will hit showrooms sometime during the second half of this year, as a 2024 model, GM said.